But I haven't got <laughs> such a low note. How does he do it? I don't even know, man. I don't even know. <laughs> oh, now to double check that there is indeed a stream going, which I believe is indeed I am on the intermission screen. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. No, 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 the other one. <laughs> um. Yeah, so hello everyone. Today is the 8th of March 2021. Uh, it is the 9th Golden Sun stream uh, with the 8th one uh, being a weekly occurrence. I am kind of glad that I've been keeping it up every week. I really hope we can get to the end rather quickly. Um, it's it's definitely felt like when you do like two hours a week, it's like, oh, and then a 20 hour game actually feels like a really long time. Uh, you know, I don't know. <laughs> so, yeah, so I've got a few things to talk about this week. I don't think there's going to be too many things, but I got some stuff maybe I can, I can just generally talk about, but... Uh, without further ado, let me boot it up, boot that game up, and get into it. Oof, my neck's a little sore from looking at things all day. I know, don't we do it all the time? If the streamer doesn't show up in 15 minutes, we're legally allowed to unsub. Uh, that would imply that you were subbed before, which fortunately I don't have affiliate subs uh, going on. Um, I guess, uh, or no, following, following is the unfollow. Please don't unfollow. I guess that's a thing. I've definitely known some streamers. I there was one person I um <laughs> I looked up. I had this fascination with trying to um find people who are uh, had um streamed uh was it like ring fit because like i'm always curious i know i know you could say like oh like you know who's the kind of people who streams ring fit you know people who are trying to aim for attention i know i know but like i think there's a hilarious thing of just like people who go into it thinking it's a fun thing and then just like 15 minutes later going oh my gosh i am actually going to die i have done so much like like intense exercise that I've never done before um and uh one of those people uh was very big on the whole uh you know oh like uh I don't know it's not, something a little vain about it and she was like uh like all those people in the chat for every person who like comments on the size of my breasts I'm gonna like like start a minute later and she started like 40 minutes after I started watching like and she wasn't even on stream she was just like I think it was just like a profile pic she's got like an Instagram all this stuff but it's like like the I mean yeah like they're really like offhand comments in the chat but it's like 40 minutes bro <laughs> like, like I don't have all day I don't know what you're like I sat there 40 minutes the worst part is that like the moment she started streaming I'm just like Man, you know, like, there's not much going on on stream. It's very, very just there. But, um, yeah, other than that, I should probably start paying attention to what is happening happening in the game. So I think I may have missed something in those tunnels, um, which is a bit unfortunate. I am probably way too high level to even, like, gain anything out of fighting these guys. Here's a question. How do I go up? I think I gotta go left and up. Yeah. Whoops. Really didn't pay attention to what's going on there. Um. But, but yeah, I don't know. Like, have you guys ever experienced, um, I guess, like, a? I don't know. I, I always find Twitch a bit of a bizarre thing because I'm not particularly a consumer of Twitch material. I usually watch a lot of a lot of people on YouTube. Uh, that being said, uh, I have recently been really watching Jermer a lot, and his stuff is absolutely hilarious. I, I loved his recent geology stream. Uh, 
And, uh, yeah, no, I think, like, that's definitely a great, like, model to... Uh, why am I fighting things? Because they're all weak, and am I already here? Like, I just... yeah, I am. Nice. Didn't even realize I'm already up here. It's been a week, okay? I don't remember anything about this game. <laughs> so I think I gotta sneak in. I'll fight this zombie, I guess. Uh, people keep pinging me on Discord. Who keeps doing this? They're not gonna get a response. I'm sorry, people. Yeah, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm married to the art, to the, uh, to the stream, I guess. Um, is that something people do? I guess. Uh, that is a miraculous thing to have gotten done. To, to raise that bar yet again. Good work. So I believe these people are not going to let me in. Uh, to which I then activate the... Oh, I still have it on L, don't I? Yeah. So, what I remembered was that there was a person blocking a bed. Uh, they are bound to be... They're not, like, this way, are they? No. Are these, like, people who gave up? Cool. They did give up. This... Did this guy give up? He did not give up. <laughs> So, um, so yeah, uh, mild topic of the, uh, of the week is, uh, technological devices breaking on me, so I, uh, way yonder back, like, probably it's, it's, I'd say it's two and a half years, uh, I had bought a Motorola G6 Plus as my phone of choice, I definitely enjoyed using it a fair bit, but very recently, I guess in the last um, month and a half, the battery has started expanding, uh, causing the back panel, just it's just plastic, it's not like anything too particular, but the back panel's coming off on its own, and the back panel shouldn't be coming off, so I had ordered a new phone, because I need two sims and a single phone, and I unfortunately am not going to be able to really get by on anything else, so I ordered a new Motorola G9 Plus. Uh, now, I knew when I ordered it, that it would take three to... I'm actually curious what's in that door. Uh, they said three to four weeks. So, that this was on February 9. Uh, now, today is March 8. It arrived today. Oh, I'm glad I came back for this. Um, so, it came back today, which is... Sorry, as in, as in the phone arrived today. Um, and I haven't sent off the other one just yet, but I plan to do so very shortly. But, uh, day one of using the new phone, well actually, like, I'll briefly describe, like, you know, what I've enjoyed about the new phone so far. It's like, I really appreciate it's got, uh, like a little plastic case. I know it's, you know, not too expensive, but it's just like, hey, you know, it, it means that the, uh, the case is less likely to be broken. Is this guy just, like, blocking this just for the sake of it? Oh, these are all the same people that were here before. Okay. Definitely a bit of a mean hit there, but... Not the worst. Um... So, yeah. Uh... But well, yeah, I've, I've at least enjoyed the new phone to some extent. I don't think it's, like, mega ultra powerful of a phone, but I'm not particularly looking for a powerful phone. I'm looking for a very, um... Reliable... Uh, like, long-lasting a phone that's nice and has a bunch of, like, older features. Just things like, you know, a, a headphone jack. Like, that's something that now you gotta, like, really look up that your phone has. Um, I appreciate it's got FM radio. That just seems to be something I tune in every so often, and it's nice. Um, NFC is always good. Uh, camera, I guess, is neat. I don't want my camera to be, like, tons behind, but... Oh. I think it's this guy. I think this is the guy who was blocking the way. Uh, does he get two more people to come up? No, oh, okay. Uh. Yeah, but it was... Oh, bump the mic. Um. But no, yeah, it's doing pretty okay. The issue. The problem with brand new device. 
is that. Uh, so there's a, a camera pimple on it. That's just the design. Ooh, hi there. There you go, this is what I was thinking. Like, they were blocking this. It's an interesting creature. Oh, okay. Is it a- yep, okay. Okay, yep. <laughs> uh-huh, yep, sure. Um... Oh, he- he just joins. It's all good. Mm, the sound every single time. Uh, so let's pop him on you, because you don't even gain anything out of this. There's, no, there's nothing to gain by you being on there. Oh, because it was on, because it was on standby, though. So how about, let's trade it over. Uh, yeah, oh, that, like, kind of kills Garrett. I, I'm curious why that kills Garrett's sets, like, so much. But, uh, yeah, no, I'd rather, um, rather this be the set. Uh, hooray. That's probably the best thing. So, yeah. So the camera's got uh, a pimple spot on it. That's fine. That's, sorry, that's where the camera is. But, underneath the pimple is a bright green stuck LED. And to some extent, like, I can actually pull it out right now and I can see it. Congrats on acquiring another genie. Thank you very much, man. Um... I feel like I've got quite a lot of them already. Like, I guess the screen maybe could scroll, but I don't know, it's looking pretty filled. Um, yeah, so a bright, a, a bright green stuck pixel. And uh, I've noticed that, yeah, if the screen brightness is down all the way, you cannot see it at all. If the screen brightness is up, all the way, it's incredibly jarring. It's so, like, noticeable. And now I'm in a bit of a tough spot, because it's like, man, I really don't want to, like, send in another phone. I guess the thing is that, like, I'd have to, you know, get it approved externally if it's a defect, but I'd say it's a phone. Like, it, you know, I could just say I'm using this professionally, which, I mean, to some extent I am. Maybe not for high color accuracy, but you could definitely say, hey, like, you know, I buy a phone so that I can, you know, view things, and this is incredibly distracting, it gets in the way, and I have to work around it, and it's completely not ideal. I hate how hot, um, stuck pixels are sometimes, like, an actual thing that they write in the spec. Like, um, like, I got, a uh, my, uh, Asus monitor. It's got, um, I'm curious where you go. I think they said... Oh, all the way down there. Yeah, never mind. Okay. Let's keep going. Uh, around the top, I think. Was it around the top, or was it, like, around the bottom? Yeah, no, it's around the bottom, I guess. <laughs> um, and it wasn't through here, because this is where the guy was like, Yeah, nah, you're not getting in here. Also, that kind of sounds like, it, like, sorry, this place, um, when I rescued the guy and he ended up going in here, that kind of makes it seem like that's more just a way to get into the city. So, it's interesting that they, like, tease you with that, though. It's like, wow, look at this wonderful tunnel that you will not be going into. Uh, so I think I gotta go all the way back through here. Uh... Yep. Oh. Oh yeah, the big gorilla. Uh, so yeah, like, I, I remember it with my, um, Asus monitor. It had a stuck pixel here and there, like, in, in one spot in particular, but I could, like, kind of press on the screen lightly and it would kind of go away and it seems to have come and gone you know pretty easily so I'm not too fussed uh, about that like you know ever existing I seem to go like quite a few months without it happening so that's fine but on a phone it's like well you can't really press down because the screens are incredibly resistant they're not like 
you're not really able to press down on it without it, you know, like, doing anything too serious, so... Uh... Yeah, like, I'm curious what exactly... But also, on top of that, the phone says nothing about dead pixels. And so today, I'd say that's a defect, isn't it? Like, at least the monitor, it's like, well, they're trying to save their hides, but, you know, they say it. Uh, so, right. and it's it's a problem with, with higher resolution displays, but that should be something that appears in QC, is that, hey, this device doesn't exactly work properly, in the sense that not every single one of these pixels that you put on the device seems to work out. And it's something that does, in fact, impair the function of the objects, at least for some, so, uh, this is... Yeah. This is lit, so... Uh, other than that though, the battery's definitely lasting me a while. Uh, don't you usually have to like, kind of full drain the battery before you, like, really start using it regularly? So, I drained it down to 5%, and now it's going. Now it's on the charge, it's been on it for a bit, it's at 40%. It's, it's getting there. It's a chunky battery though, so... Uh, you took the long way through Gondolin K- Oh, did I really just miss the easy exit? It's been a week, I'm sorry. Probably makes sense, huh? <laughs> Alright, so I'm thinking that, uh, I exited kind of back out there, at the end of something. So I'm thinking I go, like, south? Uh, yeah, I, I don't have too much to say. I guess like migrating a phone is like incredibly easy um, nowadays. Uh, half because uh, a lot of the migration is because data is just on a server anyway. So it's just like, oh, like I've got all my passwords. I just log into the same apps with the same passwords. Quite a number of the apps go, hey, you can't be logged in on two phones at once. Hi there. Oh. We should go to the Babby Lighthouse soon. Sweet. Cool. Got it. Now where do I go? Uh, is there anything left? Oh my god, she's a Captain Or. But, yeah, nah. Migrating a phone is easy. I guess the thing is that, like, they're all Android, like, there's really nothing that I'm doing that's too weird. Um, I appreciate, you know, automatically downloading apps. There's a number of them that do seem to copy, uh, data as well, which is nice. For the most part, though, you just kind of re-log in, and you're pretty much set. Maybe just try and match the settings. Um, yeah, that's about it, really. So, uh, maybe I'll enjoy using it. Um, but yeah, no, the stuck pixels is really getting me. Uh... Because, yeah, like, what do you do about it? I, I believe there's, like, two things. You can either really try and press down on it, which I don't really trust pressing down on it, like, as hard as I feel like I have to, in order to, like, actually, you know, concave on the screen. And, um, or to, to depress the screen. And then, uh... The other thing you could do is, uh, with software, like, cause it to, uh, you know, cycle colors really for a long period of time. Uh, maybe I'll leave it on that tomorrow, but, like, in the short term, like, and by short term, I mean, like, three hours. It didn't really do it, so. Welcome to Solhala. I bet the sandstorms were terrible. I didn't really get any on the way here, so I'm thinking you're either a liar or I'm just absolutely amazing. And that, speaking of amazing, I gotta somehow draw this thing, which means I gotta remember what the spell was. It's not thorn, it's growth. There we go.
you? Alright. Oh, this guy has to have a freaking, like, a tech tip. No way do you leave a person up here and you don't have a tech tip. Well, he doesn't have a tech tip. What are we gonna do? Yep. Dang it. They got the chest out there. We got purple pull aid. Typical stuff. Hi there. Sure, got it. Um. But yeah, nah. Nah. Phones. They used to be my space for a bit. I remember, like, really kind of focusing on them back in, like, 2010. Like, back when, like, it was big iPhone versus uh, general Android. Uh, I used to get very riled up about, uh, like, oh, I'll never use an iPhone. And now it's like, I'll probably not use an iPhone. They've got me there. Um, yeah, I can't, I can't really, I don't think I could really get into it because I don't really, um... I don't really use my phone that much, so I kind of wouldn't want to invest that much in a phone for the long term. Like... Oh, sorry, sorry, I don't want to invest, like, that much into my phone just because I don't use it particularly a ton. It needs to make calls, and it needs to be a nice, uh, device to say, like, oh, I use Spotify, and I browse things, but I'm not really, like, I'm not pushing, like, really intensive apps, which is something that I think a lot of people seem to just be inherently upsold on phones because it's like it's got the fastest you know exynos octa-core processor and it's like man you know like what do you do on phones that particularly needs like an octa-core chip a lot of little tiny microprocessors i guess but but like i mean yeah the, the phones are just so inherently like single uh like application it's just like man you don't really need like too much i i like the idea of the fast high performance processor and then the slower but high battery high efficiency processor i love that as a concept and i like phones that are doing that even if it's like yeah like i think they're just inherently cheaper and don't really experience too much of a um performance penalty where is sheep We're here in the beds. Oh shit! Oh my gosh, jeez. My <laughs> gosh, the amount of sleep that I've been getting recently has been kind of abysmal. So uh, we'll see how how I go on this stream, but I'm feeling okay. I'm feeling I've got this. We must go to the desert and find the Sheba. Got it. Ah. Who knows how they do it, but they use water to stop the cyclones. Okay. So, just have good water abilities. Got it. You must not die like us? Bro, you're not even all dead. Can it be monsters? Okay. Man. Some crazy stuff, man. Uh, yeah, it's probably the exact same villains every single time. That's... Alright, that seems to be the case of, like, everything. Uh, I'm gonna switch the gin again. Man, that's a crazy amount of HP that both of them get. I think it's... That must be because, like, that is the specialization. Like... Do they gain points in the the name of the class they're in? Is that how that works? I don't know. I'd like to maybe look up the, the mechanic of that system, but I'll leave it be on the side for the moment. Um, yeah, it really doesn't seem like there's anything apart from just 
There's an inn. Sure, so I guess oh, I guess I'm just gonna dive into the desert. Which is down here. It, it's not oh, that's not a desert. Whoops. Uh, so, in the wait for a phone that took four weeks to arrive at my door, like, seriously, February 9, like, that's nearly four weeks. Um, in the meantime, I ordered uh, a new capture card because I had foolishly lost the cable to my last one. Now, I had mentioned this uh, last week. Uh, it arrived Tuesday morning, so basically, like, ten hours after the stream ended, uh, I, like, I immediately went to bed and woke up and there it was, along with a new power supply. I had uh, power issues in my house, uh, but so I couldn't exactly test it like immediately on the day. That was good fun. But then, yeah, it seemed that like I had hooked up everything right, put in the capture card, and I've realized like two things. One, it's all RGB on the side. Now, I think that's mostly because it's like Oh boy, are we doing this again? Ah! A sandstorm. Is this like, um... I'm just going into the pro. Ah! Ah! Is that gonna take... Takes me all the way back out. Oh! Ho 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 ho! Can I use Whirlwind just to counter it? No. Uh, oh, I think I gotta use, um... Is it, like, Dows? Is that the one? Uh, I assume that's gonna have to be something she gets. Something Mia gets. She's not getting anything out of that. You're getting some things. Oh, are you getting out of this? Cure, Briar. Um, I guess this just goes mine. Like, where's the ability? Uh, I feel like I'm a thousand from the synergy of the item. Oh, is it something I picked up? Ooh, that's actually kind of nice. Let's put that on. Uh, the Dow's drop. Uh, Dow's drop. Move that over here. Have I actually gone this long and just never equipped that? Or I must have gotten unequipped with something else. Maybe the Frost Shield. Maybe. Um. Yeah, inventory is going to be fun in a moment, but it's a technicality, we'll get to that. Uh, let's shift all these back. And I'm most likely going to need that Dows. Uh, ooh, go, oh, I wish, dang it. Oh, do you get into it and then you douse it? Ah, and then you fight a tornado, tornado lizard. Tornado lizard. Mm, it's got some attacks. He definitely hits you. He definitely hits. You gotta watch out for them. And oh, that's no, just a high attack. Okay. And he's got 620 experience. Jeez. Like that's that's a fair bit. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah, I... Mm, someone is probably going to yell at me that I haven't, like, unequipped anything. <laughs> I don't know, like, what actually is, like, hugely important and what's just, like... Maybe not the Arctic Blade at that point. Uh, that would probably be nice on Ivan instead of... Oh, say the sleep bomb. There you go. 
See, I'm, I'm terrible when it comes to items and JRPGs, and I guess now is like the point where it's starting to be a bit critical. But like, yeah, you hold on to a bit too much. Alright, meanwhile, like that is... That guy's not that strong, so... Uh... Oh! No, I'm getting sucked up by a tornado! But, yeah, no, so, okay, so, Capture Card, it's IGB. I assume this is because, and I've got, like, uh, the other, you know, one, uh, and it's got, like, a little LED on it, it, or not a little, actually, but it's, like, the giant button on the top, and I don't know why there's a giant button, but the button is lined around, around it with, uh, an LED, uh, and it changes color based on, um, you know, are you recording, uh, is it active, is it currently just, like, sitting idle, uh, is it running out of space? Like, that kind of stuff. I assume they kept the same functionality on this, uh, capture card. But, I guess they also said, hey, you know, it, you're sticking it into your computer, let's just make it RGB. So the moment I turn on my computer with this in, it's, and even right now, because I think I've got OBS currently using it, because I tested that a bit, um, it's spiraling every color. It's just going rainbow on me. It's brighter than any other thing in my case. It's actually quite bright. Um, that's interesting that, like, you know, things assume that you can actually see them, like, on the side of your computer. I definitely know a number of people who put their computer below their, um, below their desk, or they, um, uh, they don't have, I guess, glass side panels. I didn't have glass side panels until, like, a month ago. I had a plasticky kind of window, but you definitely couldn't see down to the PCIe, um, like, area, so... Uh, that's an interesting thing. Uh, number two, it works pretty nicely. So, I'll give you prop saver media, it works really well. It's like, all I had to do was just go on the website, download the RE Central, let that update the firmware of the device, and that's after just plugging it in, there's no external uh, power needed, so that's nice, um, and, uh, yeah, no, it seemed to work reasonably well, uh, RE Central seems to work nicely, I appreciate that it does indeed have a really low delay, because, like, I've been testing this with, uh, the Xbox, because I've been playing, dang it, I've been playing Project Gotham Racing, uh, I'll get into that in a bit, um, but the delay from between input is really low, the delay between hearing the audio is quite low. I'm definitely having a good time. Uh, it records, uh, the lighting's a little different to how it appears on the monitor, but that's something that you can definitely just kind of adjust the gamma, uh, and it's not too bad. Um, am I able to wreck the Mimic? Like, is he just, like, taking it? What, it, what, like, how much health does a Mimic have? Does it, is it, like, you know, half the health of two Mimics, or is it, like, you know... Because I feel like I should be able to wreck Mimics, you know, since the first time I saw one. These guys aren't too bad, though. I guess I might run into a bit of a tough spot when it comes to my total PP though, because this definitely feels like the PP that I'm regenerating is not as fast as now I have to use it, but... Um... Definitely a good experience though, I'll tell you that. Uh, each successive Mimic is uh, a level higher than the previous one. Ah, that makes sense. So the fact that I've been fighting a lot of them is probably... Uh, Grounds that with the corresponding stat buff. Alright, so it probably means that they're gonna start getting a bit trickier. What are, what are these? Who did this? Woo! My gosh, what? Well, that's a new one. I wasn't expecting that. Uh, okay, well, you'll be pleased to know that. I can revive a downed ally. Wow. Uh, and you can probably... Uh, 
Uh, put him to sleep. And you can probably, uh, give... Oh, wait, no, you've got... Wait, wishes... Yeah, wishes a whole party. Yeah, we'll go for that. Okay. That was worth a try. I appreciate I've got a heal all kind of ability. That's nice. Uh, Voltorb, you self-destruct character. Dude, legit, legit, that was the Voltorb encounter. And that's going to really throw me off, because I I don't know if I was on full health, but like that definitely took a lot of damage out of the party. Um, which, I mean, it's two of them. I wouldn't mind if it was just like one just to start off, but nah, nah. Head first, two of them. Crazy. It's good experience though, I'll tell you that. Uh let's go for a wish well. All that you can do is wish them well. What's that? The roach. Oh, okay. Uh this might be a good opportunity for Garrett and Ivan to start using some abilities, we'll say. Um, we got a tornado. We fight fire with fire on this one. Chuck tornadoes in the, the desert where enemies seem to generate tornadoes. Um, uh, yeah, capture cards doing pretty good. Uh, and yes, I have tested. You can just chuck straight into OBS, uh, and it seems to just work right out of the box. Uh, no longer do I need that uh, stream engine external software that uh, Ava Media supplies, such that you can use it in OBS. It seems to just be a device that you can just easily just use in, and I'm glad that they have acknowledged that. I'm glad I pressed L, expecting him to zoom the camera out, only to then have that happen. Nice. Um, uh, but yeah, no, no, it's been pretty good. So. Uh, yeah, the power supply was pretty okay. I've never used a modular power supply, so I was surprised at like how bulky the cable, like the 24 pin cable is. The rest of it was pretty okay though. Like, in fact, pretty, pretty bog standard. Um, only thing I'm a little bummed about is that like because of the way that the screws are on the back of the case, I have to put it upside down. And it says don't use the silent mode when it's upside down. I'm like, dang it. Dang it, that's that's exactly what I want to use it for. So, but, you know, it's pretty quiet already. Uh, and, uh, yeah, no, I've at least currently not had a power issue, so that seems pretty okay. Um, yeah, other than that, cables are neat. And it was pain reaching the CPU pin behind an Octua and HD 15. So, but I think that actually means that I don't think there's a single, like, component in my case that I haven't, like, hand-picked. Um, like, everything, like, the case and the, the CPU cooler, the CPU I had bought, uh, 2019, like, the whole case is specifically stuff that I have personally gotten. So I am rather proud of, of uh, how it's ended up, and now I'm like, yeah, like, I say it's it's a bit end end game right now. Let's use it until it's uh, really unfit for purpose, or we'll replace things. Or I think the easiest thing that like you can do is to not rely on your Windows install too much, and just like every year, and I'm gonna do this like when my birthday rolls around. Just reinstall Windows. Uh, I've got my product key on on the ready. Like I can easily just keep you know. Putting in my product key. It's not like I'm changing hardware in this instance. Man, that's an attack. Um, so, yeah. A cookie. Nice. Um, so, yeah, but no. Reinstall your product key because then it means that, like, one, like, whatever drivers you probably had, or, like, you know, for, for program programs you don't use, or drivers you don't need or all that stuff like that's the easiest way to just like flush all that um, and then uh yeah like pretty much you know gets your windows to start re-indexing you know re-caching 
Um, it's not bogged down by like having like previous installs or previous updates sitting on it. I'd probably say that's a that's a fair thing to do. Um, crazy voice. Gosh, I hate that attack. Oh, did the gin really not go active? Nice. Got a nut. Got a nut. Too good. Ooh, super volcano. Volcano? That's a tornado. Uh, this isn't a uh, reveal, is it? Also, that's some footprints. Brutal troll. Nice. Actually, uh, up for a fight, in which case, one, let's heal. Uh, this is a wishing well. Yeah, that's pretty good. And let's give it a save. Let's protect myself. Oh, hi there. Yep, okay, sweet. Um, I guess we'll just like kick his butt. Plenty of damage, fire a glass. Yeah, that's not a ton of damage. That's not tons, so I think I can wing it. Uh-oh, Eddie Van Halen's back. So, yeah. So speaking of Eddie Van Halen, uh, I have been playing... Uh, oh, I finished playing... Oh, nice. Easy. I finished playing Metropolis Street Racer. Um, ooh... Okay, we're gonna cave. And oh boy, <laughs> yet again, yet again. Am I right? Uh, and that gym correctly went on him, and I can set that. Right. So I guess this is the thing. How's the set? Look at his stats. What's going on there? What actually is happening? How does your health go down by nearly 200? Like, I guess it depends on the gym. No, like, all of them, it's gonna go down by 200, and that's just because, like, I'm giving away one of, you know, something of his type. He's changing class. And they're very inexperienced on that class. I think that's what it is. It's, it's, it's a class system. So... Uh, give him the Dows. Alright, this is the big bad. The big freaking whatever. How bad is he? What's with the dodging recently? Oh gosh, jeez. Any attacks twice. Got it. You're gonna be an absolute jerk. Uh maybe I should start casting Jin. Uh let's. Put him in delusion. Let's boost some party resistance. Let's uh, drop his defense. All right, all right. I'm feeling okay. There you go. Wrapping in delusion is good. Uh, let's see, I can drop his agility, does that make him attack once? Possibly. Uh, let's boost some agility just so I move first, and let's go with that. 
but no, yeah. So I finished Metropolis Street Racer. I have encountered that out of the 262 circuits, uh, you can only unlock 240 of them. Uh, even if you do every single event, and you do every single special challenge, 22 of the, the tracks are just off limits, and I don't really think, no one's really documented, like, how to, like, what actually happens there. Thankfully, uh, as you're unlocking all these special challenges, uh, one of them is literally a unlock everything cheat. So it's like, I guess you can technically experience those last few tracks. Never mind, though, that you are 100%, uh, you're 100%, um, playing through the exact same circuits over and over again. It is, like, it does get very repetitive after a while. Like, doing every single, you know, race in that game, I swear. Um, so it definitely goes on for its time. That being said, I think, like, conceptually it's pretty alright. It's still good fun. I don't think I've really had any opinion change. Um, I really like the bonus vehicles, uh, if you get around to it. Uh, my favorite one is the lawnmower, which is absolutely slippy as heck. But it's amazingly good fun. I enjoy it. Um, and yes, you can drive a lawnmower. Um, uh, the music also got very grating, so there was that. Um, oh yeah, I can attack twice. I keep doing that. Uh, attacking twice without necessarily, like, setting myself up. Um, yeah, I'll just check the tornado. And then, uh, I need to wrench you. And then we can start using, uh, four thingies in one go. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Okay, no, bad, bad, bad. Okay, we're safe. This is a incredibly gutsy freaking go right here. Um, I'm gonna do three. I'm gonna do three attacks and I don't trust myself and I'm gonna go with a... You can't do it because you've used a gin, haven't you? Uh, first use Gus and Summon Thor. Uh, oh, could you do... Uh, can you Summon Thor? It was saying I only had... I wasn't paying attention. Maybe it said I could only have three then. Uh, yeah, I think I should definitely give Cure Well there. Uh, you can use your media. Uh, you can definitely use Thor. And then, uh, you have to definitely play well Gary. Even though I know me as myself. It doesn't think you can, but it's willing to let you try. Alright, so I'm just hoping that Mia doesn't actually have to cop it right now. Yeah, she's about to absolutely cop it. Yep, she absolutely copped it. Nice. Uh, by the, then by the time Ivan gets to that action, you already have 4 Jupiter on standby, ready to go. Yeah, but uh, also, I double copped it. I still healed Ivan, and it was still not enough. I think... I don't know if it's because, uh, using the Jin, I swear. Um... I think Mia's the more important one. Uh... Do I just use someone else's ability? Nah, nah. You commit to it. Commit to the piece. I'm definitely copping it really hard, aren't I? Jeez. Uh, well, I've got no hope, so I'm just going with that. And now he's faster than me. Oh. You know, if I actually 100% cop this. <laughs> I. Wait, do you even gain anything out of this? Bro, you just kick his butt. That's it. You actually just kick his butt. Alright, so I absolutely, like, struggle for that. And my reward is... I got... Specifically Isaac a lot of experience. <laughs> oh, is it even worth... Uh, 
the rest of them gonna work out nice. Uh, yeah, I need, um, specifically... Oh, I guess Quartz is back, so... Yeah, just give me another, like, random fight. Actually, I can... Can I even try and do that? Yeah, just revive, just right now. Easy. That's like a church employee I've just got. Nice. Um... Well, Isaac's gonna have a happy experience. He's just gonna absolutely be the tanky character of the world. Nice, cool. Uh, oh my gosh! No! <laughs> Bro is chasing me. Storm Lizard. Oh, really? Really? Oh, no. Okay. Um... Alright, here's... Here's my idea. I'm gonna, like, do that so I get some PP, and then I'm going Jin Free on this fight. I don't trust myself. At all. Um... Is he weak to Dows? Maybe. This is the actual boss. Wait, so, oh, did I just fight like a really strong one? Oh, oh, oh. Okay, I might need to do some general healing. So, what was that other one then? Uh, super boss? Not really a super boss, because I did manage to beat him, and I feel like if I had no plan, it wouldn't really work. Uh, that would do it. Do a set on that. Um, yeah, I really don't trust using a gin on on anyone really. I feel like I might need. Oh, I do have wish though, so wish can definitely keep me alive. Oh, yeah, this is a regular colored tornado. Also, is this guy? No, he is attacking twice. Okay. Uh, Isaac really doesn't have much of a, much MP after healing everyone. That's a mild concern. Um, that's okay. Uh, I'm gonna keep Mia just in case. Sorry, yeah, for, for healing purposes. Okay, so now that is a, like a, definitely a opportunity to continue doing the exact same things I've always been doing, but instead, use the play well. Oh, that's a sizable amount of damage. Um, you know, like, what really can you do apart from just, like, keep doing... Tornado's not doing much. I might consider using, I don't know, Plasma? And, uh, you're gonna need to play well as well. Um, but, yeah. So, Metropolis Street Racer finished it, basically did everything. I think I'm at a done point. Nice. Uh... And then, uh, yeah, I booted up uh, Project Gotham Racing on uh, the Xbox, on the brand new capture card, or through the brand new capture card. Um, and it's fairly better of a game, but it's also fairly the exact same game. Um, so, exact same being, uh, it actually, uh, like, it legitimately doesn't have, sorry, it takes three, all three locations from the first, from Metropolis Street Racer, and then adds New York as a location. Uh, they look better, it runs at 60, and um, I definitely say that, you know, the increased fidelity is definitely quite nice. I also think, you know, more cars um, is neat. 
the music is definitely the point that I will strongly sit on because I think games from the early 2000s have absolutely aged uh, horrendously well. As in, like, games that just license a bunch of music. Like, there's that great, just kind of like, you know, I don't know, there's something kind of nostalgic about the, um, that kind of, like, indie, uh, like, kind of late grunge, um, vibe, uh, with that time period. And I, I absolutely love, like, you know, just the variety of, of songs that they got going on. Um, most of which I don't know, but one of which is Gorillaz 192000, and I definitely know that one, so... Uh, did my laptop just reboot on me? Maybe. I'm using it to monitor the stream, and then suddenly the whole thing, like, cuts out. Yeah, what? Did you just update the, the graphics driver? What did you do, laptop? Um... Uh, so let's pop that back on, uh... Wish well is probably like my saving grace here. Now, it's definitely a longer fight, but... I don't think I've had any risk of, like, dying at the moment. It's been fairly just a fight. Hold off on one turn. Uh, these dows again. I really should be paying attention to how much damage like Ivan is actually like doing because that's really not that much. Well, this guy's definitely taken like at least maybe not necessarily more damage, but he's surely like uh, taking his time dying. Um. Can I just have a good sword? I think that's probably it. In fact, does everyone have a good sword? I'm gonna go with a high impact. And then, uh, another wish well. I'm gonna need that. Um. But, yeah, no. The the game is... Oh, don't cop it, Ivan. Don't cop it. You good? Nice. Um. Yeah, no, I, I'm definitely enjoying it. It's it's a time period that I think uh, I've not um, kind of dove into too much uh, recently, but definitely one that I would like to kind of get back into, those older racing games. There's something kind of nice about just like every single one of these games um, kind of trying their own thing, trying to go like, how do we like out Gran Turismo, Gran Turismo? Um, and uh, yeah, I think Project Awesome Racing is probably one of the the better examples of one that, like, cleanly leans into the more arcadey camp, but I think does it with enough, like, finesse that people don't compare it too hard. I guess it's always going to be comparable, but I'm going to do another high impact. That seems to actually be working out. Um, gosh, this guy's taking his time. I would greatly appreciate if he could just fall over now. I think it's probably a bit tough because I don't have any, um, PP on my deck this whole fight. Uh... Oh, there it is. Cool. Got it. Again. What is the purpose of that? Oh, wait, hold on. I see this. I see what's going on here. Ah, well, I'm glad that that was sitting there and not just slightly earlier. Thanks, game. Oh. Hi. Oh, whoops. Uh, <laughs> forgot to find a... Nah. Okay, then we're going ahead. Our guard gate lies ahead. We can leave Sheba to the soldiers at the gate. Or oh, perhaps we should head there first. Okay, sure. Got it. Uh, so yet again, I have crossed another desert in probably like 20 minutes. These deserts, I tell you, they're, they're there, they sit there, but... I 
guess. So, uh, so no, yeah, I'm definitely enjoying uh, Project Gotham Racing 1. Uh, I have played 2 as a... Oh, uh... Well, oh, I don't need the, the shamans right now. There's something cheap that I can, like, actually drop. Like a herb. Uh, which way is the place? It's not down here, is it? This is the exact same encounter I just had. Nice. <laughs> oh, I just realized I haven't taken a bit of damage. Why? I gotta figure out something. Ivan is just like permanently needing equipment. He's permanently just like suffering hard. Is it because I've cast too much gin with him? Is that it? Like his class is just dragging him down? Who knows? Uh, but no, yeah. The the other thing I like about Project Gotham Racing is that it's, I think it's got like the uh, the Smash Melee kind of just like unlocking system where like, like you'll unlock. Well, you've got the the quick race mode, the arcade race mode, and then the Kudos Challenge mode, and each one of them unlocks different cars that you can freely use in any other mode. And then on top of that, that you've also got cars unlocked by Total Kudos. And then on top of that, I seem to be unlocking things just over time, like literally. You've played the game for two hours, here, you've unlocked this, you've got a time trial mode, you've got like all this other stuff, I'm like, I'm amazed at how, like, just like, that's something that no one really does anymore. Must have been Felix, you don't know that. We're sleeping here. We gotta stop him. Sure. He's in here. Hi there. Oh, is this the, uh... It could be an inn. I don't know if it is. It's just, it's just here. Sure. Oh boy. Uh, are these enemies sort of fought already, or no? The different ones. Um, so yeah, uh, the only thing about Project Gotham Racing is that it's on the Xbox, and that means that one, uh, good luck emulating it, so I'm glad I've got it on official hardware, even if it is <laughs> kind of the same game that I already played, and, but, uh, also, it's, um, like, the Xbox controller is, uh, Slightly unwieldy, like I started holding the Xbox One controller again, I was like, oh dang, sure. Like that's that's how it is. That's that's the controller, so um Yeah, it's definitely a little little getting used to, but uh button scheme's real simple. Um yeah, this is, can I slide down there or Oh dude. Wow Cool. A mint. Tic tac. Right there. Oh. Psh. Okay. There was like no space on that screen. Um. Other than that, I think I have basically exhausted all of my topics. I've. Um. Yeah, because that's basically all I've really, you know, done over the last week. Uh, I guess that's definitely been, you know, an hour of, an hour of discussion, um, oh, no, 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 there's a gin. Who is 
dudes, they've got chains on them. Like, did they break out of somewhere? Really going ham on the sleep, though, I'll tell you that. They really want me to just, just like, knock off. Uh, is there a way back up? All the way? Yes, okay. Nice, thank you, game. Gotta go up the slow way. Uh... Look at this guy! I want one! I would love, it was like a little, little, like, golem kind of character. Not, like, physically in the real world. He just exists, he just chills, he minds his business. And then he can wreck someone's day if they wreck his. Like that kind of stuff. Also, Mole Mage. He eats some worms, is that a heal? That's a heal. Got it. Cool. It's a fair bit of experience, though. Uh, this one, I think. Nice. Uh, More gins. Alright, he's gonna kick my butt. Maybe. We'll see. Hell prison. Oh. Ah, jeez. Jeez, man. Uh, this is gonna absolutely catch me out. Or Ivan out, really. He ran! Uh, what's the button? Maybe he starts select? That's the one. <laughs> I'd saved. It's okay. It's okay, don't worry. Uh, how about let's start with the wish well so I don't have to worry about attempting to do it. Oh, that's a different attack as well. Oh my gosh. Ice horn? Sure. And he's been stunned, so he's not getting away now. And he's really not getting away now. Nice. He's my friend. Wow. Mmm, that sound every single time. Uh... It's do, or as uh, anyone who does British English, uh, Jew. But you can't say Jew, because I think text-to-speech things uh, are probably going to autocorrect you into saying uh, you're talking about someone of the, the Judaism faith. Um, I guess you can always mention Jew. I don't know, I've always like, had this uh, weird connotation. There we go. What is in here? You know what I mean? Like, you get you get some words and it's like they're misused so much or used in bad faith so much that, like, you can't really use them without uh, that kind of connotation being there. But I'd also say, like, maybe you just, you know, take the word back. Use it enough times in your own context that doesn't mean any, you know, intentional harm to anyone else. And eventually, we can drive the word to legitimately have no intentional harm. Easy. Oh, he's got a strong punch. He's got a strong punch. And he really hates Garrett, apparently. Uh, a lot of healing. A lot of healing, this video. Seriously. They've definitely kind of ramped up the difficulty since, like, the last few things I've done. Um... Oh. I blame these gnome wizards, though. I've never trusted gnomes. And this is the perfect example of, like, why you don't trust gnomes. Because they cast this ability, and it's like, this is freaking massive damage on everyone. Like, jeez. And now they've called their buddies! Oh, this is actually painful. 
But I guess I could do it back to them, so is it really that bad? Not so much. Uh, you could just actually attack. That seems like a killer good attack, though. Well, unless I cast sleep on everyone, in which case, yeah, it's probably a bit mean. And he is, uh, literally toast. I'm getting more experience than I was, like, a little bit before, though. Uh... I guess I got this. That's nice. Uh... Oh, hi! Look at this! What happened? I don't know. Bambi ship! Oh. Perhaps at this time? Take this. Try to use it. Can I equip it? You can't carry any more items. I will just drop the black orb instead. Um... Alright, what's something worthless? Uh... Another herb. I use it on the ship. It's not working. It ain't working, bro. I will take it back. Okay. Is this the actual, like, end of the map as well? Nice! Nice! Now I gotta get back to the cave. I guess I can pick up this again. Um. <laughs> nice! This is a cave. Show you a scene, and see ya, we're out of here. Was attacked. Oh, re oh snap! I wasn't expecting a guy to just uh, die, disappear on me. Sure. Okay. Uh, I'm back. We got a lighthouse, I guess. Just check that out. Hi, you okay? You said the exact same thing, and you disappeared. Don't do this to me. Don't do this. Okay, he's actually okay. attack the scholars apparently um ah uh, with a key I just entered like dungeon number 15 as well. Like, just keeps going. Ah, uh, okay. Just, oh my gosh. We got a platforming puzzle, we got more gnomes. Can't do anything. 
Uh, oh boy, where do you go? Left. Oh, cool. Uh, is that an item that you would want to equip? Onto Lucky Camp? That looks good, but... That's what I was thinking, I was like, nah. Uh, so much better than your male cap, I imagine. Yeah, okay. That's something that I think Ivan's always needed. Just a bit of that extra, extra support there. Jeez. Um, did I finish anything else during the week? Nah, nah, I think it's mostly been, been that. Um, yeah. Been a rather busy week for me, uh, outside of, outside of stuff. I'm definitely, I'm working a lot on, um, my, uh, Discord bot. I've got some ideas of how to kind of spread it out a bit, because I... I, I would really like to kind of separate um, the components a bit more, uh, particularly have the core library and then the deployment of it be actual like separate projects and not just, well sorry, like separate repos full on because right now it's like I've got my my bot kind of just like, you know, it's on GitHub and then it's like yeah you can clone it but you've also got like all these other things that you probably may or may not care about. Um, so I think it will probably be best if, uh, maybe Docker? Yeah, Docker might be interesting. I, I, for deployment, um, that'd actually be kind of nice. I have a feeling I'm looking at a, a puzzle right here. No, that actually looks pretty all the same. Um, is this just one where I push all the way? It'd be great if we could carry that block and drop it to the ground. Like this one, like you're just flat out telling me to use uh, carry on this, or lift, Is it lift, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Then you could have one with a script to build the whole container or GitHub actions. Yeah, I think with a GitHub action that actually might be kind of nice. Um, Cause yeah, then I can actually like you know focus on the deployment of the machine kind of on its own there. Um, so that actually might be kind of nice, because, uh, yeah, I've definitely, I definitely would like to remove the needs of me SSHing into the machine to, um, to have to do stuff. Doesn't seem to really do much. Am I- I'm not, like, missing a freaking, like, orb as well, am I? None of these look like I've either, like, not got them equipped, or they do something. Is there an ability that I'm missing? Like, I, I'm, I'm just, like, blanking out on? Uh, I definitely don't need, like, growth. Oh, that's all, like, growth stuff. Astral Blast, like, Curse. Um, more growth. Cutting Edge, Thorn, Restore, Froth. Yeah, I don't see anything particularly in here. Drench was the one I was thinking of. Um... Yeah, none of these particularly look like they do anything. Okay. 
I guess I've also got the staircase here, so... Ah! More big dudes. Um... But, yeah, no, I think the, the key thing that I want to do is separate the, the, the main deployment, uh... With, uh, another, um... Or rather, yeah, separate the main deployment of the, the repo with... Um, with the actual, like, core library of it. I think that's probably something I want to do. And also separate the modules out, uh, just because then ownership of the modules can lie well outside the main repo, which I think is probably something that, um, you know, it's definitely... I don't know, it's, it, it just feels like, yeah, like, I'd rather, hey, let's have other people contribute... No, oh, hi there. Oh gosh, what's happening here, man? They did something to make the floor ladder. Got it. Cool. You're gonna make it a framework where you can install your own modules. Um... Uh... I wouldn't necessarily say, uh... Well, actually it could be. It could. Um... I think the easiest thing to do would be to... Um... At least at the moment, just have it so that, uh... If you want a deployment, you can effectively uh, get subtree everything, uh, and then just yeah, you compile all down, and it should work. But I actually I would like the idea of kind of module, sorry, packaging the individual modules and being able to uh, distribute them. Um, that actually might be kind of nice, because really all you need in order to make one of these modules work is just to have it be a compiled library in a very specific spot. So, ultimately I think I could probably do a lot like on top of that. Um, this actually might be something I'll, I'll, um, I guess we can spit all ideas now or yeah I can like DM some, some things later. Um, I think that would be the nice thing to do. Um, uh, I know, um, uh, there's a merge request that I've kind of, I've sat on, I haven't necessarily rejected, and I probably should, like, reject it, uh, involving, like, s turning everything into services on the, um, there goes Ivan, wow, wow, suddenly the game is actually, like, really trying to, like, kick my butt. Uh... As much as I like the idea of, like, the services, it's also, like, it's a fair bit of, like, boilerplate and it doesn't 100% retain, like, the functionality that I'm wanting, so that one I might actually, like, just say, like, not, not yet on that one. Um, uh, but definitely, yeah, I think just, like, something more external to the code itself, so the, um, the distribution of the modules and the actual deployment. I think it's something I can definitely, you know, handle there. And I think it'll be good to, to actually get that automated and not just, like, sitting tight. Uh, sitting tight with the SSH and the, uh, the, the loop on, uh, get pull run. The words come. If you seek to climb Venus Lighthouse, first seek the power within. To obtain this power, see with the eyes of truth. With the path. I reveal it's not the beginning. The true part the beginning lies down ancient pathways on ancient soils. Uh, is this a reveal now? Ah! Nice. Okay, okay, this inventory is actually, like, slightly getting in the way. Now, alright, here's something. What do I need? Uh, I... Like, I guess I can maybe chuck away just, like, old equipment. But I think I would rather, like, chuck away, like, really low items. Or, do I start using ability? I feel like I can drop a sleep bomb. Let's start for that. Um, like, let's just, like, chuck all the, like, the weird ability things that I'm just never going to use because I don't have that many. Uh, like, revise down, that's very useful. That actually seems like something kind of neat. Uh, like, causes damage with thorns, like, I could probably deal without that. 
um, someone's gonna tell me, like, oh, all of these self are, like, ridiculous amounts, and you're just... Do I have Elixir somewhere else as well? Yeah, you've got Alexa. Can I merge that? Yeah, easy. Alright, so that's a spot. Uh, same thing with a herb. I legitimately don't need a herb. Like, 50 HP is just, like, nothing on a turn. Uh, same thing with an antidote. It's just... I don't think I'm gonna need it. Uh, at its close, it's probably a bit basic, but... The rest of these seem okay. So that's a few inventory spots. Uh, carry stone. Is, wait, is that... Is that another one of these? Now you can carry... Yeah, you totally can. Thank you, Garrett, for mentioning the thing that I was going to be able to do anyways. Uh, this looks like something that I'm gonna need to do a Mother Gaia on. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, so, yeah, that'd be nice to, to get into, and I've got a fair bit of a motivation, just because I, I feel like my Discord bot, like, it doesn't do things that I think people really, like, often expect the Discord bot to do. Um, I guess, like, yeah, like, you know, reinventing the wheel to some extent. I know a lot of people have Discord bots that have, like, verify features and stuff like that. But I'd kind of like the idea of, like, hey, like, let's, you know, let's try and write something like that. A verify feature or something like that. And then, yeah, really all you have to do is, I guess, implement it. Really, I don't think there's anything too complex. Just, yeah, compartmentalize the servers, because almost all the time a bot isn't going to interact with another server and then yeah so if I can carry that oh uh, oh so this is just move but like one over like I can pick it up and drop it off the ledge cool I guess and have I hit the dead end well maybe not we'll see in a moment Nice. A haunting. Whoa, spooky. Uh, you know it's Easter coming up incredibly soon. Like, um, not. Uh, yeah. So today's Monday the eighth. Uh, and there's Monday the fifteenth, Monday the twenty second, Monday the 29th. Uh, and then, yeah, the weekend after is Issa. I am toast, nice. Uh... Maybe that's something I gotta reveal or something. <laughs> Cheeky. Now what? Maybe I gotta carry this. Seems like the time. <laughs> Chucking another puzzle on me. Oh. Oh. Missed. This is not a carry. Gosh, these are some aggressive enemies. No sticky poison, but they've they've definitely got got some gutsy attacks, that's how Seriously, I'm at level 25 though, like you know, The numbers are starting to really add up. The numbers are really starting to add up. I don't know. You seek to climb Venus's lighthouse, I shall grant thy wish. Path long closed, shall not be open here. Path begins far, far away on the soil of an ancient people, with the sunrise to your left as you gaze upon the lighthouse.
Ah. The enemies every single time. Man, Garrett's got a lot of health now. What happened? My little baby Garrett. All grown up. I swear, these enemies, like, they, they take their time as well, and they give the experience, but, like, am I underleveled all of a sudden? I don't know, really. Ivan is still coughing it. I gave him a hat. He's not able to, to handle this. He's incredibly resistant. Um, did that, that didn't deactivate anything. I feel like I'm stuck. So maybe I just gotta retreat. Get out of there. Call a police officer. You know, the huge. Uh, I'm all the way outside. Uh, I was thinking that I could go right, couldn't I? There we go, just keep going, I guess. Uh, there's a town. Where everyone is still dead. Cool. What's this, like, random escalation of the story? It actually, like... Like, I haven't experienced really like these villains very much except at the other lighthouse and now they're suddenly like sh shown up and suddenly like they have taken out everyone like where were they like being this aggressive before jeez oh hi there They found the ruins beneath the lighthouse. Uh, legit, they're sitting there telling you the exposition, and they're like, man, you know what would be great for my dying wish? But these guys kept sitting there and talking about it. Uh, they're sitting outside the front of a town, that then everyone else is just chilling and... That's neat. Ooh, hi there. Cool. These people really know a lot about this Shiva person, I tell ya. Uh, I guess it's not enough, yeah. I don't know what's with the Kool-Aid, though. You don't, like, drink that, do you? Bees power. Oh, there's a fellow on top of there. Can I get on top by coming up here and then maybe going out a door? Not quite. How about this door? Still no. Must be a way to get in there. 
My bad. These people are really saying a lot about this lighthouse and Dolby, so... If you could get through the caves, yeah, I, I guess, yeah, I could get through the caves. Um... Hi there. Oh, actually, okay, someone would have yelled at me for this. Okay, you ready? Bronze shield. I don't need it. I haven't been using this bronze shield. What else? What else is on this list? Like, just equipment that... All these herbs. I'm legitimately just, like, never gonna use these herbs. Let's just get rid of them, okay? Uh... All the rest of these, like... The special metal... 500 HP seems very reasonable. This damage with ice, I'm... I'm probably fine on that front. Um... We'll keep going. Boost maximum, cure poison... Like, okay, I'm very certain, like, I'm not gonna need a dedicated item for... For this. Okay. Uh, the Sir's Frost, like, boost luck. Longsword, that's less than this sword, so that's one where it's like, yeah, you're not gonna use that. Sure. Uh, I still don't know about the ring, but this cap, not gonna need it. Uh, you know, you can't buy that, yes. Uh, but this bracelet, probably not gonna need it. Like, that's fine. Uh, revives down, that's probably all of those are pretty important. And then in here, again, same thing, mail cap. Oh. <laughs> Can't negotiate, nice. Uh, what else? Boost agility... Okay, I think maybe just that, like boost PP, but I probably don't need that. Now I've got a lot of money. So now... Well, actually, this is just the item shop, so... Also, they sell, like, restore alls. That's interesting. Uh, hi there. Gosh, there's a lot of lore, and I, like, I apologize, but there's a lot of lore. Like, geez. Presentation is a little dry. There's a lot of people telling me stuff. Um... Is this the, the armor shop? Okay. Okay, let's start considering armor. We got steel armor here. Can't equip, can't equip, but, you know, that's a pretty good number over there. So I'll, you know, drop that down. We got knight's helm. Again, still can't equip. These also still look pretty good. We got the platinum circlet. Now that is just not as good as the things I found. Is that the armor shop? Like, that's it? Okay, let's start considering the weapon shop. We got great sword, great S word. Uh, compared to the Vulcan Axe, that's pretty alright, but I guess it doesn't have the thing, and then Master Rapier. That is less than the Long Sword, the Great Sword. Uh, Great Axe, even less a little still, and then War Mace, uh, yeah. I feel like maybe the Long Sword just as a, a bump up of, of stat there, but, you know, I don't feel particularly, like, pressured to do that yet, so... Oh, we got chest just there. Who puts that thing? Oh, what is this? Oh, wait, there's a vine there. Wait, that means I could be on the outer wall. Ah, okay. Ah, crafty fellas. And then, I can just jump onto here or no? Not quite. There's something a bit off on that perspective. Alright. Hi there. Oh, he's just joining. Okay, sure. Uh, probably want to... Uh... Oh, one. Let's, uh... Let's activate them just so I can see the, uh, the benefits. Like, look at that. That's crazy. Um... 
bit of luck as well is nice. So what's this? Penetrate defense. Oh, that's another revive. Nice. Cool. Okay, I've got two revives. That's actually kind of neat. Uh, plus the revive spell. That's that's nice. Uh, I assume there's going to be something miraculous hiding in these pots. Water of life. Good stuff. Can you not actually jump over that? Okay. Oh, that's not like a walk all the way. That totally is. No, not quite. Oh, that would be over here. That's because the wall falls over there and you can go from here. Who designed this? Who put this here? And was like, yep, just a little tiny chest right there. Warrior's Helm. Boosts Earth Power! That seems like the helmet. Uh, not really any point doing that, but you know what I'm about to sell? Because I clear my inventory like a proper person. <laughs> ah, okay. I'm, again, curious if Isaac is just going to be, like, absolutely dominating, like, uh, you know, all of this freaking power. Ooh, all the threes. All the threes. And then, uh, yeah, I kept going out north. Nice. And then I hit the, the road to the lighthouse. Strange folks, I tell ya. So this is the lighthouse that was just casually constructed. Oh my gosh, what's going on here? Oh, I need this to go the other way. Whoops. Uh, catch? No, I need a move. Yeah, I need this to come back at me and then push it the other way, and then I'd imagine... Uh, I'd imagine you'd move this once up, and then you'd do the catch, the carry, to put it up there, so, such that I can now walk around and pick that up. Got it! Cool. Thanks. Nice puzzle. Sweet. There we go. What do I get? Pepper. Pepper. Great reward, man. Okay. Uh, continuing going north. Dead people again. Got it. Uh, what is happening here? Oh, no. Okay, one, I'm rebinding to move on to this, and two, I think I got this, so I, I'd move this one back, and then when I come around onto the other side, then I can move that one back, I think that's, so I guess this one's the same boat, it's like, push that, whoa, so now I can come down here, and what's my reward, what's the prize? Uh, use growth, which I haven't got because I gotta do this. <laughs> nice. Oh wait, no, that's not growth. It's um. Oh, sorry. Yeah, it is. I guess I was just sanding a bit off. And. It continues. It continues. The falling puzzles. Well, I guess there's not much of a choice here. Orc Lord. 
My lord, these are orcs. I don't think you're allowed to use the word spasm nowadays. That's a, that's a fun one. These don't seem like too bad though. Ah. Uh... Cool. Cool. It's just, just the Jin right here. And he fights, he fights. Yeah, so my laptop's just telling me it's almost time to... To restart your device, because I thought it was like 10 30. I'm, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do 10 30. We're gonna wreck this gin. We're gonna wreck him. Cool. They really, uh, like, sees being a bit of a challenge after a while. They just kind of take a few hits and he's like, yep, that's. That's it. So now we got. Luff. Which is seal a, a foe's synergy. That's cool. Not, not much HP. Really not getting much HP out of uh, out of this. Ah. Oh boy. I don't want to necessarily be... Wait, hold on. So that goes up and then probably around. Do I want to go around or do I just keep going down? down. Ah. 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 Oh, hello. They opened the door. Well, does it open? No, it doesn't. Well, you know, pack it up, boys. That's it. certain they went through this door and no one's gone through this door I wonder what happened hi there Fat Farron? you know him? oh what'd you do? how old could this have happened? like nah we can't okay so what's the who are these people? Please explain to me. We have chased, uh... I, I'd imagine these guys are like southerners. They, they got this, the, the much thicker accents. It's like in, um, Dragon Quest, where, like, yeah, you come from the town in the, the south, and it's just, like, such, like, thick, like, country British accents, and then it's just, like... Go anywhere else, and it's like, oh yes, very regal dialogue, and then it's just like, are you sure you want to do, you know, go on an epic journey, like a very, I don't know how to how do it. How do people do? Um, I don't even know, like country England. You don't hear too much country English. Usually, people are just like, they're very London-esque. Sounds like a fix, yeah, maybe. Uh, how do, how do I open the door? Seeing with a true heart. This is just Ocarina of Time, Lens of Truth. Solution to every problem. It was a button the halt, and I- And I'm in a fight. I have to fight someone. Oh. I'm gonna use it again. Mm. The worst part is that, like, see with your heart, but I can only do this attack with- oh, sorry, I can only do that with an item. Wow. Are you guys blind? 
There was a button the whole time. Thank you guys. How in the world did you open the door? There was a button. Where us? Nice. Nice. We must save the Shiba. Good job. It's a magic door. <laughs> Why does anything close? telling you to stay back, I'm saying you're gonna get killed if you go forward. This is very true, uh, yes. That yeah, makes sense. Why do we have to keep going through this line of dialogue for these country bumpkins to understand magical powers? Have they never seen it before? Most likely not, actually. Uh, do I have to do it again? Thank you, game. Appreciate it. See ya, losers. I'm on my own. Tunnel ruins. Oh boy. And that's the statue, so... so. I'm thinking now is probably a good time to, to call it a night. Because uh, I've been going for, what is it? An hour 52? Like, I've got a bit. Um, a lot more gin. Uh, level 20... I didn't hit 26. Who knows, I might hit 26 at some point. Um... And, uh... Yeah. Yeah, no. We'll definitely see where this goes. Um... I guess tunnel... Same old, like, you know, chasing the bad guys. We'll see. Anyway, with that... Thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, yeah, no, it's definitely been been good. Uh, I'm still curious how long is left of the game, um, but it's it's certainly starting to really like start pressing the difficulty. So who knows how it'll go? Uh, this is of course going to be again re-uploaded to YouTube. So if you missed it, uh, missed bits of it, you can watch back there. Um, if you haven't followed or subscribed to YouTube, please do that. Um, I don't really have too much. I don't really shill for like Patreon or PayPal or anything, like I guess. But yeah, I don't really have too much to say. It's a pretty normal week. Nothing really too big haven't happened. Twitch raid? I don't know who to raid, man. Uh, who? Who do I have on my, like, Twitch who is currently live right now? I don't have a single person on my Twitch who is live right now. Dang it. That's, that's a bit rough. Um, sorry, we're gonna have to do no raid. Maybe I'll figure out someone to raid next time. We'll get that. Alright, thanks for watching, guys. See ya.